morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 59, page 538. The miracles he performed on the Sabbath were all for the relief of the afflicted, but the Pharisees had sought to condemn him as a Sabbath breaker. They had tried to arouse the Herodians against him. They represented that he was seeking to set up a rival kingdom and consulted with them how to destroy him. To excite the Romans against him, they had represented him as trying to subvert their authority. They had tried every pretext to cut him off from influencing the people. But so far, their attempts had been foiled. The multitudes who witnessed his works of mercy and heard his pure and holy teachings knew that these were not the deeds and words of a Sabbath breaker or blasphemer. Even the officers sent by the Pharisees had been so influenced by his words that they could not lay hands on him. In desperation, the Jews had finally passed an edict that any man who professed faith in Jesus should be cast out of the synagogue. Do you sometimes act like a Pharisee and condemn others using the law? How can we have the perfect balance between justice and mercy? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please forgive me for the many times I have acted like a Pharisee and have used your law to condemn others falsely. I know that your law exists as a standard of judgment, but at the same time, I must exercise love and mercy. Help me today to be like Jesus, who had the perfect balance of mercy and justice. And when I see someone breaking your law, use me to restore them instead of condemning them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May you have an amazing day ahead of you. Goodbye.